where the teacher's role should move from being a teacher to being a mentor. That's one very early lesson that we got in Iyantra that uh, we should forget about us being the fountains of knowledge and being able to stuff knowledge into our kids. They have they have Coursera and other stuff to get knowledge from and the entire internet. We should be facilitating their solving problems using this kind of knowledge which already exists. Mm. And this whole notion about tinkering and about training people for life, I think that came through very well. You know, that, that you have to learn how to learn. These are very basic skills. Working hard can be fun. Learning happens when there's an enabling environment. A teacher might not need to do anything, right? But as long as the teacher just says, go and do it, and it's okay to fail, people don't realize that's a big thing also. In fact, that's what IIT is known for. In fact, we know of, of, of faculty in my department who used to just give their students unsolved problems in computer science and mathematics without telling the students that it's unsolved. These guys would come up with solutions to unsolved problems just by not knowing that it's unsolved. And I feel that many of the limitations are in our mind. So this enabling environment is a very, is a very nice word. The harder it became and the lonelier it got, he did not give up. I think that has stayed with me so beautifully. That's the difference between schooling and education. Harder it gets, the more entrenched you get with whatever it is, the rigor. Soft skills, right? And I think that's a misnomer because that's the main stuff that life is all needs. And if you dismiss them as soft skills, just the, just the vocabulary is wrong. You know, this is the soft stuff. Get it out of the way as soon as possible. No, that's the real stuff. Like you said, the two plus two is four and the physics and the chemistry you can learn everywhere else. But the education that will help you is this point that as the going get harder and the people who you started off with fall off, you persevere. That resilience, that rigor, I think is the most important aspect of uh, Yantra, what you're getting them with these kids around the panel to learn. I think storytelling is a very fundamental skill, whatever you do. There's a book that I'd encountered many years ago when I wanted to learn painting myself called Drawing with the Right Side of the Brain. It's a very famous book on yes. drawing. And the whole thesis there was that when you do drawing, it activates pathways in your brain which are related to a creativity. And that creativity, once you spark it off, and generate it and do things with it, it, it spills over into the rest of your life also. So I feel that this is a very fundamental skill which we've lost out. My schooling is content-based. Almost as soon as I come out of school, I'm going to be obsolete because all the content that I learned has become obsolete. In an environment, an enabling environment that has to be created for learning to happen, right? The content, of course, it's important. You know, if every single generation had to relearn how to generate electricity, there would be no progress. So there are certain things that have to come down. How do we create change? The same way that a startup creates disruption in the sense that you don't disturb the, the edifice, you just make yourself available and organically and inorganically, people will adopt it and change will happen, right? And by, by seeing the effects of that change.